In this video, I am going to compare Snagit Screen Recorder and Camtasia. Both programs are designed by TechSmith. You will easily recognize the differences between two programs at the end of this video. Let's go ahead with Snagit. This is Snagit Recording Toolbar when you launch Snagit Capture. Select Video, you will have some options to customize your recording such as your input audio, system sound, record mouse cursor or not. Being noticed that if you select Record Webcam, Snagit will record your webcam only. You can't record your computer screen and your webcam at the same time. Once you're done, hit Capture button. Now you need to click again to select Capture Area. Hit this red button again to start capturing. After the countdown, Snagit will record everything. Once you've finished, you can use default hotkeys to stop the recording, or find the stop button at the notification area. Your recording will be previewed in Snagit Image Editor. Here you can select a part of your recording and cut it out. And finally, save it to MP4 format. Let's see the quality of the recorded video. My settings for video capturing is medium quality which gives good quality video at very small size. If you wanted to change it to higher video quality, go ahead to Snagit Capture References. That's how you record your computer screen with Snagit. It's fast and simple, right? Now let's take a look at more advanced screen recorder in Camtasia. Similar to Snagit, Camtasia screen recorder is also very simple to use. It gives you more control of the recording area, and video resolution. You can select widescreen 16x9, or standard 4x3, or lock an application to record. Let's select 720p as an example. You can easily drag the recording area around your screen with Camtasia. Record your webcam, or a connected camera is available too. For more control, click Option in the drop-down menu. Here you can select Video Frame Rate, Audio Input Level, as well as Record System Audio option. In General tab, you can check for record keyboard input, choosing saving location and some other features. With Camtasia, customize hotkeys is possible. Whenever you start a new recording with Camtasia, don't forget to double check these options before getting started. On top of the recording toolbar, Camtasia gives you more advanced recording options about effect, annotation style. I will make in-depth tutorials about Camtasia in the coming weeks. If you want to learn more about this program, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's go ahead starting my recording now. Once you've finished, use the hotkeys to stop the recording, or find Camtasia screen recorder icon at the notification area to stop it. You will be redirected to Camtasia Video Editor. If you are using Camtasia free trial version like I am, you will need to sign into your TechSmith's account to start editing your recording.
a watermark will be added to your exported video during free trial period. To remove it, you need to purchase Camtasia license at $249 for lifetime. This is recorded video, shown in Camtasia Video Editor. Your webcam is displayed as a square box at the corner of the recording. You can easily move it and put it at the position you want. As I mentioned earlier, Camtasia is a powerful video editing suite for creating online training videos. It includes a whole bunch of different annotations, animations and other useful features. You can easily add these annotations to the timeline. Add animations for it. It's quite handy using Camtasia annotations and animations. I will definitely produce more Camtasia's tutorials for you guys in the coming weeks. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Now I will export the recording to see how fast Camtasia can finish the project. The exporting speed depends very much on your computer's specs, as well as the length of your videos. With Camtasia, the speed is acceptable. So, how do you think about this comparison tutorial? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next tutorials. Bye for now.